What's up folks and welcome, I'm Daily Fix and uh, we are going to be playing some X4. Now, I was actually planning on doing some of the missions, um, but considering we have so much economical stuff to do and so far it really has been more of an economical campaign than anything else, uh, I decided that, uh, you know, what would be a good idea? That is making sure that our factories will have a, um, a better future for themselves than they are having right now. And um, this will bring me to a, um, a tool, a calculation tool, which has been uh, quite useful uh, for me and so many others. It's been absolutely great. I will, uh, I will show you that in a second. Uh, if I can actually, because it's the second time I'm recording this, because I'm an idiot. Um, but uh, let us, let's wait until that station to, to the right is, uh, is out of this. And then we'll pause our ship. Uh, we'll just let it stand over there. Because I, I want to be able to activate my SATA whenever I need to. Now, what I did off camera as well is do the missions for all of these stations. And all that you can see over here... Let's actually just center this somewhat like that. Okay, let's deactivate that. All of these are mine. There's the microlase factory. Silicon There's the silicon carbide. carbide. And I believe this is the trade, trade station. station. There we go. All of this is mine. So let's press M. You can see we have a, a good amount here. 30.8 million that I got from my, uh, my trade station. Which has been doing absolutely good. There you go. Good. Seven, 27 million I got away. Currently, this hour, we uh, we made a negative 15.6 million. But do, do keep in mind, we did take 20.5 million away from that. So let's just say that um, 13 million. We would make 13 million an hour. Hey, 13 million an hour. That is not bad at all. Absolutely not bad bad at all now i also went to stations and i got myself because uh, we are actually doing quite well in uh research uh we were starting teleport free and i got habit uh, habitation module hack and defensive module hack and i got myself the large habitat i got myself the tier the the, the, peer, the one pair dock for the large ships because don't think I need any more on my stations. Uh, maybe the trading station will eventually get more once it's actually fully operational and the, the, the trade station is going to be the last station we will be working on. So uh, for the next few episodes we will be doing a lot of construction. Now. One of the first factories that I want to look into are these three. It is my protein factory, it is my MRE packaging facility, and it's my medical supply factory. I brought my, I found a, a website. Um, let's see if I can actually get it in here. Let's do, uh, let's remove this. Actually, I want these properties to, Okay, let me get a display capture for this. I, I did set it up last time, but I completely messed it up. Let us go with a display capture and do that one. There we go. So this is the disc, this is the uh, website, the X4 dash, uh, or actually um, Stripe. Is this a Stripe? How do you, how do you call this? Actually, x4games.com station calculator. And I'm going for the large living quarters. Now, you can see for the, uh, the, terren, uh, the medical supplies, we can uh, operate 16. But I also want to take a look at what we need. So, protein-wise, we would need, let's say, 5,000. Now, you can also just put this down to zero, right? It doesn't count. Because it just calculates the MREs and the medical supplies for the three living quarters. So, let us add the module medical... I'm a dumbass. We already have that. Let us add the module MRE. Put that to zero for now. And let us add the module uh, protein. Uh, protein. And this is the generic one. The protein factory is probably... Uh, so the way I see it everywhere the same. Now, I want to make sure that we stay 
below the workforce capacities maximum. So for the protein factory, it looks like we can operate eight. And this will generate us 27,000 protein paste per hour. Yes, per hour, which is a lot. It really is a lot. So um, methane, ice, energy is 8,000 as well as some emery stuff. So once we uh, we put this down, can, can I just say, you know, does, don't calculate? No, I can't. Okay, that's fine. Let us do the other one. So this will generate, okay, we need nine and we needed five, so that's 14. We can do, let's see, how much do we make? It's 20, so six, now nah, we're going to do eight. So this is going to be eight, eight protein paste and tray. Uh, let's get started on that. So medical, we're going towards the protein factory plan. So let's configure it this. Uh, wait, before we do this, we are going to be creating ourselves um, some larger plots. I don't need 10 by 10s, we could go for that, but I really, really don't see the point in that considering 4x4s is going to be enough. So let's buy that. And we'll do the same with the uh, the medical supply factory. But it's actually five. Buy license. And we'll do this with the... There you go. The MRE packaging facility is by the license as well. These three are going to be the ones that we're going to be working on right now. So uh, let's get started with Protein Paste Factory. Now we can have one of these run for several stations, right? If we are making 27, we can almost make two of the other two factories. Uh, so we don't have to do anything about that. Let's go ahead and do one, two, three, four. I think in terms of storage, we have enough. I think in terms of storage, we have more than enough. We don't need to change this. We're going to be um, adding the one dock instead of the three dock. And we'll add the three living quarters over here. So that is all that we want. We are going to be confirming this. And also we do this. And I'm kind of hoping to see a bit of... You know what I like about this? Is uh, a bit of layers. And it looks like it does have three very good looking layers in there. Quite close to each other. Good separation if we were attacked from this end. We'll always have some sort of defense. Even though we, we don't even have guns. We don't even have shields on our container storages. But... We could in the future, who knows how it goes. Let's confirm these changes. We will ass ass assign a new builder. So that's going to be one. Let's close. The oh, wait, 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 wait. Future proofing daily, future proofing. Let us go ahead and do a small um, pro uh, protein based. Um, Factory. I will call everything factory because I'm an idiot. And I don't know how to say facility. It's, it's too much of a hassle for me. So here we go. Load plan, small factory. If we, um, we're going to be building another one, we can just use the plan. And um, I will always show when I change something for you guys. Considering up to this point, this has been more or less a um, economical campaign. So yeah. A lot of things, a lot of things. Uh, also, would have been wise if I turned off my display capture, which I will after this one. Uh, let, let me place this one up there. So, let's see, come on, you can do this. Yeah, come on, don't be shy. Don't be shy. He is absolutely shy. That is the weirdest ever. Whatever, it's fine. I'll just turn that off uh, in a second. So we have the protein paste. Let's just bin this. And we'll go with the MRE packaging facility. We can do 
11. 11 is a good, good number. Let, that's a good number. Let's turn this off. There we go. So, hey, guys, I'm there. Uh, Emory. 11. So that means that we'll uh, we'll definitely have to add a few of these. And I'm thinking we do want to do another container storage in there. So let's get a large container storage in there. And we already have three. So let's go with four, uh, actually three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. You will always see that uh, when you are trying to redo a video, it's never as good as the first one. Damn shame it is. Damn shame. Uh, let's see if we can actually full, fill all of these up. We got three. Okay, let's go production. Uh, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. Yes. Let's do... Um, let's see what it, uh, what the AI is thinking it can do. Also... Oh, I like that. I, I know it's silly. I know it is silly, guys. But I do like that. I, I like height. Don't don't build these generic... You don't need to be 100% efficient. Just have some fun. You know, it's the most important thing that you can have in this game. Just just have fun. And, 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 and forget everything else for a while let's just um can i just drop this down somewhere so it actually gets uh, into the build that would be quite lovely apparently it's uh, it's like saying bye to you uh let's do it another, no, another time i'm sure well there you go eh, 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 that's boring that is so boring okay interesting still come on Give me more height. Give me more. You got so much room. You got so much space to play with. <gasps> Damn, I skipped too fast. That looked so nice. Oh, mistakes were made. F's in the chat, guys. F's in the chat. And we're not even here. Uh, we're not even live. We're not doing that. Uh... Interesting. Don't really get this part, but... It is interesting. Yeah, I like it. I don't know why. I know you guys are probably just hitting yourself. Like, no, no, it looks like shit. Wow. Okay, you know what? Okay, we'll, we'll go for the next one. Don't worry. Oh, yes. Yes, this is it. Yeah, this has to be it, guys. Yeah, I'm loving it. It, like the sideways connection in here, just plays with the room. You know, I get excited by those dumb things. Uh, let's um, let's go ahead. Let's say um, small Emory um, Production Factory. Uh, I think facility facility facility. I think that is how you pronounce it, right? <gasps> you dumbass! It's just right over here. I just noticed that. That is so dumb. I'm so dense. Okay, we'll keep it... Because we just discovered that, we're just going to save it as a facility. Guys, let's uh, confirm this. This can be started to uh, to break away. Let's hire ourselves a, um, a builder. No. Um, that's all safe. We're going back. We are going back to our... Um, protein paste. Protein paste is this one. You don't tell because it, the production has been completely gone. Let's continue. Are you done? No. Okay. Six seconds. Now, I'm waiting for this um, because you actually get goods. If you give him stuff right away, it, it will be a lot higher. Now, it's just 7 million. If you didn't wait for the deconstruction of your, of your stuff, of your uh, production facilities, of everything, uh, you will most likely pay a 4 million more. And you will be left with so many, um, so many goods that you just don't use. So actually, here you can see that we are actually using our own stuff. And if you go up here, you can see energy cell. There's a ball trick. 
just giving computer substrate that's just saving us money guys that is saving us money that's great it is gorgeous let us go to did we just do the medical supply one i think so there is a construction ship waiting no it isn't we did the uh the mre so medical supply wise why is there a um no builder was signed. Okay, that's just weird. Okay, let's go back to the uh, the website, which uh, you apparently are no, not going to see, but I'm going to turn it on. Uh, we now have the um, MRE production. Those can be binned. And let's go. And this, this could probably be a lot because they don't use as much. Okay, by my own rules, we'll do 16 medical supplies. Now, this station, those medical supplies... That makes so much money. That makes so much money. It is insane. So 16 medical supply. Uh, let's get started on this. Okay. So what we want is medical supply. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. We, I kind of feel like we might need a bit more solid. We'll add storage. We'll add storage. Uh, we'll add a large container unit and we'll add a large storage. We will add the tier one docking port. Just, uh, you know, get you some. Oh, yeah, you got yourselves connected. Come on. I saw you there. There you go. There you go. Well done. Oh, I love it when they listen. And we also need the habitation. So one, two, three. Let me know in the comment section, guys. What would you prefer as a station? Oh, okay. Not a lot of height. But what I love is the amount of space it's using. Okay, I like this one. I really do. Ah, yeah. Call me an idiot. I know. <laughs> but I love this. I love this. Uh, let's go here. Um, we'll call this a small. Can you imagine the larger ones? Oh, man. Oh, building those will take me so long. Uh, actually, not building them, but just placing everything in. Uh, so, a small medical supply. That's it. There you go. I can type facility now. You must be so proud. Let's save as a new one. Confirm these changes. Those will be broken up. Let us get ourselves a builder. How many builders are here? Just a... Ah, oh, that's not too many. Here you go. Construction vessel. There you go. Can you imagine once you're conquering the galaxy and once you are warring with everyone that you need to make sure you got a supply... Uh, you got a construction ship? Otherwise, um, it's not going to be good. Let's see. So this factory, and I don't think it is actually the protein paste one. Okay, so you are done. Where's the other one? We have two trading stations now, which is interesting because we know that is not true. And this is the 4x4. So this is actually the one that we need. So let's continue. And we are now going to say, I want you to buy those resources for 8 million. And we now only have to wait. Let's do the SATA activation. So it goes a bit faster. Medical supplies. Oh, we actually bought a 4x4x4x5x4. Interesting. Can I, can I... Can I not lower you? You're like, no, you bought that space. It's yours, dude. Do whatever. Do whatever so it looks like three mil uh, three, uh, three minutes for all of those to be done now of course there's a reason why we start with these three factories habitations require uh, medical supplies mre and energy so we also need to expand our energy production which is uh, something I'm, I'm not very much in favor of considering we are already generating 162,000 energy and we'll have to look into how much um, these three stations are going to be used uh, using and, and not just these stations I didn't 
didn't close that one thing thing again. So in terms of energy, this is requiring about 20. Uh, how much for the other ones? The MRE? Let's lower that. So 20, 30, and the other one was the protein paste. Okay, so let's say 40,000. 40,000 is, uh, is what we require to have per hour. And that is quite a bit. Oh yes, that is quite a bit. Uh, let's turn off SATA so I can actually move my camera a bit. Currently, I did stop. I did stop um, selling to other empires. So we're building up slowly. Um, I got these baldrics um, all on the factory transportation. And the factory transportation is, is part of the DLC. Oh, not, not a DLC. It's part of the mod that I've been using. Um, if I go to extensions. Um, factory transporter. It, it's amazing. It really is amazing. Um... Of course, you will have to use it at own risk. That, that's with everything, right? Everything can go wrong. But this is amazing. So it's so damn good. Uh, you have the source, allow it to do energy, have the target, and make sure you do not have a uh, target to source. Because you can do it both ways. Say you have a protein factory, you need energy. So from your protein factory to your trade station, you bring protein paste. From your trade station, you bring energy cells. So that is how you go like full circle. And that is one of the few things that you can do with these factory transporter, which absolutely works. With the repeat orders, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Um, eventually, when you use it for too long, you will start that your transport ships are just not... Just... just not transporting all of their goods into your trade station, even though you just you did say that they, you want to sell everything for the lowest price till the minimum amount of zero, and then just not doing it, which is very annoying. But uh, we did have that, um, and that's with repeat orders. You can actually use repeat orders. I know that some people say you can't, but you can. That's just not very efficient. Now, also. We want to make sure that we get level 5 um, managers. And the very first manager that we will have is going to be placed in the Mercury Power Station. And the reason for it is, is the trade station is 5 jumps away. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The maximum amount. And the second we have a level 5 manager, we can assign all of these Baldrics and potentially a lot more to that station. Now, the one downside of it is that, um, and you can see that with my trade station actually, let's go here, uh, let's go my alpha grip, it, it is now looking for trade, but you can see that it is currently at the orbital supply base, so it did sell goods from our trade station to the orbital supply base. Now you can change that. You can change that if you go to personal global orders and create a blacklist. You create a blacklist and you say, I want this for all of my civilian ships. And I don't want my civilian ships to trade with anyone but my own faction. Now this is good. Uh, till a certain point say you are just creating too many goods for your own action then this trade rule would probably hurt you more than it would benefit you so if you go to your ships you can go to this button over here it has individual instructions and here you have the blacklist and you can use the blacklist for trade restriction and say hey you as a ship, I do not want you to trade with anyone else but my faction. And you can also do that. There you go. He's going back again. 
And he is, by the looks of it, the gray line. He's going to sell. Executing trade. Orbital supply. Selling protein paste. Now you can say, of course, you don't want that. But it, would benef it wouldn't it would benefit me. Let him sell that stuff. It also helps this station quite a bit. It, it, it is getting oh, close to four stars now. Now, mind you... The morale of this certain person is a bit low. Which is quite annoying, if I have to say so myself. Um, I don't know if you can change the morale. Uh, let's go here. Let's see. The morale, actually, it is at two and a half stars. Okay, never mind. Actually, this, this would be working brilliantly. Uh, it does scale. That's good. Because... What you need to look to is um, this skill. You can see that this management skill is at 4. But its morale skill is just pulling that downwards. Uh, and I think it just really sees this as a full star. So it just say half a star less because your morale is lacking behind. Something like that. Um, but this Baldrick is going to make me money. And that money is not going into here. It is, uh, as always, just going to my trade station. And you can see that this is my trade. No, this is not my trade station. Sorry for that. This is the Baldrick. It's making me 215,000, which is good. I like that. I think it would say energy transfer or transfer of funds from the Baldrick. And it doesn't do that all the time. Every now and then. Here, yeah. Baldrick profit from trade orders. 215,000 and that is what we're looking into right so show less let's do half an hour we are almost making 4 million per half an hour that's 8 million so it's not 11 so we got to uh, we're, keep in mind we're building stations guys we are building stations even though we just saw a jump up here as long as we're building stations we will also be using those goods insufficient funds for the grand exchange that means we have another mission speaking of missions did anything change well yes we actually have some missions the medical supply facility is uh, complaining about not having enough storage capacity and this is probably because it didn't build that yet so uh, restocking drones of the protein paste and extending storage let's take a look at that let's Turn off SATA. Let's go to the protein paste and the medical factory. And it's, it gives you an indication of things that there might be something wrong. Also keep an eye on the station account. You increase the station. That also means that... Uh, yeah, look at that. There is no storage yet. It, it did build the dock. And it is now building the luxurious area. And it is, it's lacking energy cells. And it is uh, still going to be getting in three minutes all the cells that it requires to build the majority of it. So wait until the station is done. Keep an eye on the account of your station. And just have fun. You know, this half hour for me, is, personally, it, and I've done this episode twice. It flown by. It really did flow by. Uh, and I'm actually considering just increasing the amount. Also, one thing. I could use medium ships for these stations. And have a lot of them considering the... Um, where are you? This is actually they're not using that many. Uh, this one is actually having one gas miner it seems. No, a mineral miner. And it's just mining ice. And how much ice we would need, we can, of course, see when it's done. So let's just get Seda back on. Uh, once it's done, you can go to that ship overview, dumbass. I keep, I keep calling myself dumbass, I'm sorry for that. Um, medical supply, station overview. And if you click this, once they're done... It will tell you how much you need. So, one store, one module will generate 600. And we're going to 16. So, 2 would be 12. 16 would be 8. So, 2 is 12. And 12 times 
eight is a lot. That's how you do math, kids. That's how you do math. Uh, okay, let's do this uh, honestly. So six is one, so that's six thousand. And two was 12, and then we need three. So 12, 24, 36, and 6,000 is nine. Let's say 10,000 per hour. I don't know he can do that. 10,000 ice per hour, but I actually don't think he would require too many miners. I'm thinking four miners would be enough. So having a large miner for this would be something i would not advise uh, because if you go to let's put say that off um so i can actually move easily this one has a storage of 12,000 cubic meter if you're going to buy large ships and let's do minor do it it just has 38 so 12 24 36 it has three times, just above three times the capacity of a medium ship. It has um, about 20 times the cost. Because one will cost you 1.2 million. So as long as you don't need more than 20, I would definitely, but also more than 20 minus, oh, I'm not sure guys. Are these dead? much better and i've said that um due to the ai sometimes spawning um npc in 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 the in, in the uh the asteroid belts and stuff these you don't have to worry about being destroyed and i i know i know at some point the ice miners will get into getso fune it will happen because I've done that in my first run. Get so Fune, a lot of miners, and a lot of my miners were destroyed. Right now I've lost none. But there is 12,000 eyes over here, and there is about five times as more over here. So it would make sense that they go here. Also, I'm thinking the Terrans are currently attacking this station because this is contested area which is interesting so yeah uh, it's going to be a fun match guys it's going to be a, a fun campaign once the economy stuff is done we will be building fleets and we will be destroying a lot of stuff a lot of stuff uh, but for now thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed and next time guys uh, we're going to be working on the stimulant lab because i just decided we are going to do this the silicon carbide, the microlays, as well as the computer substrate. Now, these require a lot of um, to fully operate. Let's take a look. Station overview. Uh, that's not true. Let's go here. This already, this one factory requires 1,500 in optimal force so we're not even changing that much over here we have three we would probably need nine habitats to have it fully operational now you don't need this it's just you know i, I like playing with this sort of things so uh we'll just um change this completely what we will do is uh we're going to be making 10 of these um, because these uh, will then they would create more than 5,000 of the computer substrate, which would probably help the Terran quite a bit. And we would just assign the habitations according to the amount of number. But we'll see about that next time, guys. As for all, this is the end. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.